Okay, let's take a look at our problem. We have a line given there and a point, negative four, negative one. So we want to find the point on the line that's closest to that point. So let's first look at our line. Looks like that. And what I want to do is write this in standard form, which means basically making y the subject. OK. So we solve for y, and we've got that. OK. Here's our point now that we're interested in. And so what's the shortest distance? Let's just look at these distances with our i first. Okay. And it should be clear that the shortest distance is when this, perp this purple line is perpendicular to the blue line. Okay, so there's that line. All right, now what I want to do is get an equation for that line. So I'm going to use, uh, I have a point, right? And I do know the slope of this line because it's perpendicular to this line. So here's the equation. I have y minus the y value, negative 1. The slope is the negative reciprocal of this line, so 5 over 2, times x minus the x value, it's negative 4. Looks like that. Now I'm going to also put this into standard form. So you should go through this algebra on paper, I would suggest, and you should get that. Okay, so we have the equation now of each line. And so to find that point of intersection, all I need to do is set those lines equal to each other. That will give me the point of intersection. So the two lines are set equal to each other there. We're gonna solve this for our x. Okay, again, go through the algebra to sharpen up your algebra skills. And hopefully you match this. All right, so we have an x value. And then we can find the y value by plugging the x back into one of those equations. It doesn't matter which one, I chose the first one. So we just substitute in that value for x, and we calculate the y now. To double check yourself, you could put it in the second equation and you should get the same number. OK, so there's your x, y coordinates for that point. All right. Important here to know about the slope of the perpendicular. Okay, so there you have it. There's your intersection. Okay, I hope that was helpful.